How is everybody doing today? My name is Master Zero, and welcome back to another reaction video. This time we are reacting to a video I found called The Origin of Consciousness by In A Nutshell. I'm not even going to try to say his first little name, but I'll have his subscription uh, bubble at the end of the video and everything. Like always, I'll put it in the description as well. So without further ado- oh, I should say this first before I get on with the video, but uh, I really love, like, Sciencey stuff. I love history too. Like, it's like I love the subject but hate the class in school. So, anyway, I just wanted to say, explain why I'm doing a bunch of cool sciencey videos here lately. But anyway, without further ado, here is the origin of consciousness. Consciousness is perhaps the biggest riddle in nature. Stripped Very to its true. core meaning, consciousness is what allows us to be aware both of our surroundings and of our own inner state. But thinking about consciousness has this habit of taking us round in circles. Exactly. We all intuitively know what consciousness is. It's this. It's what you're experiencing here, right now. Oh, I'm gonna have fun with this video. But once we try to pinpoint just <laughs> oh, what wow. exactly it is, it leaves us grasping at thin air. I literally not lose just sleep us. with this theory. Philosophers and scientists struggle to define consciousness. Different schools and ideas compete with one another, but no one has come close to figuring it out. I like that. It's unsettling it's to realize that we don't understand what makes us aware of ourselves I'm, and the world. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> In this fuzzy area, consciousness and intelligence are also related, although they are not the same. We'll talk in greater depth about theories of consciousness it and intelligence conscious. in other videos. Oh, brilliant. Superman, like much of what guy. makes us human, our consciousness is likely to have evolved from less complex forms as a product of evolution by natural selection. I like that. It has probably emerged from an immense several hundred million year sequence of countless microsteps that together make up a sort of gradient of consciousness. Nice. What was the first step on this path from the non-conscious to the <laughs> basic consciousness that ultimately right. led to the convoluted now consciousness we humans enjoy today? Stuff like this is just... I love it so much. Take a stone. Okay. The consensus is oh. that a stone is not conscious. I don't have a stone. Though not everyone agrees even on USB this. Drive. Some panpsychists claim that, that a lump awesome. of rock may have an inner life. However, there are no real grounds for any such assumption since stones it's never like, show behavior. Hey buddy. Their inner life can neither be hey proven friend, right? nor disproven. Uh -huh. A more common starting point is with living things. Hi. A living thing, or a self, is a part of the universe that sustains itself and makes more of its kind. To do so, it needs energy. And energy. this <laughs> is where an awareness of the world comes in handy. The original function of consciousness was probably to direct a mobile self that was short of energy to a fresh supply of food. Okay. On the smaller scales of life, you don't need to be aware to find food. Trichoplax adherens, one of the simplest of all animals, moves around haphazardly. It slows down in the presence of food and speeds up in its absence. Kind of like that one game. This like, is highly effective you start out and little makes and then the tiny creatures spend more time where there is food than where there is not. Called. But it never moves in a particular direction towards a particular target, and there's no need for it to be conscious of its environment. The first major step towards consciousness was probably taken when mobile selves started to move themselves directionally. Uh, yeah. Moving towards what was good for them, yeah. say food, and away from what was less good, say someone else who Jesus. thought the same food. <laughs> Take Dugisia Tigrina. A tiny I'm not worm even gonna try known to say for its name. funny face. Sometimes the worm is hungry, and sometimes not. This means that when like it moves, though? the worm self is not simply producing an automatic response to an external stimulus, but that its actions depend Big upon its inner words. physiological state. 
whether it's hungry okay. or sated. I mean, that's like everything though, right? When it's just eaten, the worm is less energetic, but when starved for a while, it will move itself in the direction of tasty things. Again, that's like everything, right? <laughs> it uses chemoreceptors on its head to smell its environment and guide it in the direction where the scent of food is strongest. Oh, your brain is After weird, finding buddy. and eating a meal, your mouth our is weird, worm buddy. buddy heads back to a dark, sheltered spot to digest it. I was about to say, I really love the animation on this. Until it's hungry they use. again. It's kind of like. Reminds but me of like animals a children's that book, blindly in a way. follow their sense of smell don't have a concrete objective in Does view. Do they not have eyes? They still lack any I'm sense sure of eyes. where they are heading. <laughs> so the, the next in? step on the ladder of consciousness is to add some perception at yes! a distance. Yes! Like I was vision. right! Yay! <laughs> vision adds context and depth to oh, our world. I'm smart. With vision comes a sense of the space we and our food exist in. Okay. It adds a whole new dimension to awareness and is a, a huge step world. towards more familiar PVP consciousness. Fly thing an optical apparatus like an eye enables us to visualize our goal yeah. and lock onto it. Everything's all upside down. But even at this stage, a self is only He's able so to happy. pursue its food as long as it sees it. Uh, yeah. So the Ears? next logical step needs to happen on the inside. To visualize food in its Maybe. absence, for example, a yes. self needs to create some sort of inner representation of the world. Oh, well. Now an animal can continue looking for food even when it escapes its sensory range. Hmm. Because of this inner representation of what is relevant in the world, it can remain focused on its food and its desire to get it. I love his facial expressions. Our self now exists in a world it can get familiar with. A fly. The ability to remember things has emerged. Thanks to memory, animals can be distracted from a pursuit for a few huh. seconds, but quickly continue their path afterwards. A related okay. phenomenon is called object permanence. Okay, I got this. This describes our awareness that things continue to exist even when we can't see that them. That one. Yeah, I was right. This cognitive <laughs> skill is enjoyed by some mammals and birds, and perhaps other animals too. Like Human people? babies tend to develop this ability around the time they turn eight months, nice. while baby chickens show this ability within a day or two of being born. Damn, you go, chickies. The capacity to remember a thing in its absence suggests at least a basic this, sense this is of a time. Very delightful video. A I'm sense not of lie. time is a big step on the ladder of consciousness. Yeah. It may also enable a self to look forward from the present moment and anticipate the future. Adult chickens, for example, are able to resist a meal put in front of them if so they expect good. to receive a bigger meal as a prize for holding back for a while. Damn, chicken. This sort of delayed gratification means there were. is an ability to visualize a reward that only exists in the future, which can be quite a challenge even for adult humans. Yeah. Western scrub jays I'm are experts in delayed gratification. <laughs> like I want it they now, show damn even it. more elaborate sense of the future when they hide food mm. in a cache to retrieve it at a later date. The scrub jays will even rehide their food if they become aware that a potential like, thief has been watching damn it, them. Jerry! This means that they know that there again. are other hungry selves out there who are aware and see the world from their own different like perspective. Ninjas. Crafty scrub jays can sort of read the mind of their fellow birds. Jackpot. This ability hey, my to mind back. read is crucial for complex levels of consciousness. By oh, putting yourself in the position of others, you can outsmart Don't, a rich competitor that, that's messed or up, empathize man. with a hungry friend. Oh, yes, friends. Language takes the ability to read minds okay, and then. represent what is absent to a whole new level. Words enable us to oh. construct hypotheses about the world. Oh my god. Make detailed plans <laughs> I just and saw to what he was doing them with others. Words enable us to think Ooh. about ourselves and our place in the universe and even about our own consciousness, okay. which is something we'll be doing more in future videos. Nice. So, what is the origin of our consciousness? It probably began as the directed motion of a hungry self towards a source of food, with the survival benefits this gave it over competitors that moved at random or not at all. It probably all started with the urge for more food. So even with the sophisticated consciousness that allows us to dream about space, build skyscrapers, or obsess about novels, Basically all started it's with not food. surprising that we can't stop thinking about where we'll get our next meal. 
Exactly. Collectively, we've put so much thought and ingenuity into getting food that we can now just get our food to come to us. With Not if you live where I live. <laughs> That's really hard to do where you live. This where video I live. is part one of a three-part video series oh, relating to big questions of life it's and a the universe, made possible by a grant from the Templeton World Charity Foundation. Oh, Charity Foundation! You can find our sources and further reading in the video description, it's important. or get the Consciousness Book by Rupert Glasgow for free. Link down below. Oh, it's free. If you want to help us make more that. videos, you can do so on Patreon.com. Can I have that? Like, or get hang one of our posters from our shop. You can! I'm gonna leave it on this because it just looks cool. But yeah, that was really, really um, mind-boggling, if you will. <laughs> nah, I, I really, really enjoyed this. Like, the animation, like I said, how it was like... It reminded me of like a kid's book, kind of like... How, how do I put it? Like, construction paper! Like, they... they I know they didn't, but it looks like they ma they made it out of construction paper and stuff, and I really, really enjoyed that concept uh, with the visualization and stuff. It's kind of like, all right, how do how do we make how do we explain uh, the origin of consciousness to like not smartical people? <laughs> but no, I, I really enjoyed it. I had a I, I had a delight watching this. I'm gonna definitely. I'm going to have to hit up the other parts, not going to lie. So thank you everybody so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to leave a like down below because it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this one. So with that said, I have been Master Zero. Y'all guys have been fantastic and I will see y'all in the next episode. Later days.